Hey guys, it's Hashim here from Pushing Film. So recently, I quit my day job, which was a permanent part-time position, working about three, sometimes four days a week at a large camera store. So I've worked there for about three years now, while taking on occasional freelance photography jobs, mainly corporate and wedding jobs, and sometimes other random gigs. So I've been telling myself for years now that I really want to quit retail and focus on growing my skills as a freelancer and do it as my main source of income. Ever since starting photography as a side gig, it still doesn't really feel like work when I'm out doing photography as a job. And that's what it's all about for me. So the first year will be hard and I probably won't make as much money without that secure paycheck of the regular job, but I think it's all about taking risks and dedicating your energy into something that you really want to follow and doing what you enjoy with a certain degree of sensibility, of course. So I found that I kept delaying this decision while waiting for more regular work to come in. And even though I haven't reached that level where I can make a living completely off photography, I thought that I should just put myself in the deep end and give it my best shot. So instead of resting on my laurels with the security of a regular fixed paycheck, I've taken on another job, which is a much more casual position for a photo booth company where I go out and run photo booths at events and weddings. So this will hopefully help me transition to the next step and open up a lot more of my daytime hours to focus on creative projects. So what does this mean for pushing film? Well, hopefully more videos. When Nick and I started this channel about two years ago now, we did it just for fun and because there were no other Australian channels out there on film photography and mainly also just to network and meet other people in the film photography community. And so far it's been a huge growing experience and we've had a lot of fun doing it. So we've made a slow and steady growth as a channel and I've personally learned heaps about video production and compared to when we first started, I feel like we've definitely grown a little bit as a channel. So as mentioned in one of my previous videos, Nick hasn't really appeared in anything over the last year. So this is mainly because of his newfound commitment to his cafe business, which has been growing and has kept him really busy. But Nick will continue to hopefully be in more videos going forward. And I've had the help of my partner Sarah and a lot of other people who have helped me keep this channel alive since then. So we never set out to churn out any particular amount of videos per month or week or anything like that. We just wanted to make content that was interesting to people when time allowed. But with some of my newfound free time, I'll be dedicating more energy into this channel and continuing to grow my skills in video production. It's also been an amazing opportunity to connect with other photographers and content creators from around the world. And I really want that to continue as it was one of the main reasons that we started this channel. I'm currently working on compiling footage for and editing three videos simultaneously, with many more planned. So as you're looking through this B-roll, you'll see that there'll be many more reviews, informative videos, and more features with other people and heaps of film shot. I still can't promise any particular amount of videos going forward, as sometimes life just happens, and I prefer not to overpromise and then underdeliver. Another thing that's been a plan ever since we started this channel was to start doing film photography workshops, first here in Melbourne, and then maybe in other places too. So as soon as Nick's newest cafe is open, we'll be hopefully running a workshop at one of his venues. And I want the first one at least to be free of charge, just to see how viable it is and really gauge what people's interests are, because I've personally had a lot of people speak to me about the desire to attend film photography workshops. So I wanna thank everyone that I've met, especially people that I've met in person through having seen the channel and all the people that have given me feedback and the encouragement to keep making videos and also everyone who's encouraged me with this decision going forward. So I still have a long way to go, but I feel like 2019 will be a year of growth for me and I'm really excited to see film photography here and elsewhere continue to grow as it has been over these last few years. Thanks everyone for watching this short update and thanks everyone for all the feedback you've been giving over the years and I'll see you on the next one.